covariance and contravariance can be confusing at first because they can be interpreted in different ways for different languages, especially the ones with generic support. In today's video, we'll talk about covariance and contravariance in PHP and towards the end of the video, we'll talk about one of the solid principles and how it relates to today's main topic, so make sure to stick around and watch it till the end. When you have a class that extends another class and overrides the method, certain type checking needs to happen to make sure that the overriding method is compatible with the parent's method. For example, the parameter and return types of the overridden method in child class should be compatible with the parent class's method. Some programming languages require exact compatibility or exact type matching, which is referred to as invariance, while some languages let you override method to have a better type, whether it's more specific or more general type. Variance ensures the type safety so that compiler knows what to do when it encounters a child class that overrides a method and has a different return or parameter type. It needs to know how it should respond. Is it going from less specific to more specific return type? Or is it doing vice versa for the parameter type? PHP, for example, lets us override methods to return a more specific type, which is called return type covariance. And it also lets us accept a more general or less specific parameter types, which is called parameter type contravariance. Let's look at the example that's provided in PHP documentation. I copied the code from the PHP docs into my IDE here in PHP Storm and set up the classes the same way as it's set up in the documentation. The only difference you might see is the strict type declaration here and the namespaces that are added to the classes. So let's do a quick review of these classes and then we'll jump in straight and explain the covariance and contravariance. So first up, we have the animal class here, which is a base abstract class it just has a single abstract method called speak then we have two classes that extend the animal class these are dog and cat classes and they implement the method speak their own way then on the right side here we have an animal shelter interface and two classes that implement this interface the interface has a single method called adopt that accepts a single argument string which is the name and it must return an instance of an animal object now the cat shelter and dog shelter classes implement the animal shelter and they implement that method and the cat shelter returns a new cat object and dog shelter returns a new dog object and notice the difference between the return types the dog shelter as the example here we have dog as the return type while the interface method has an animal as the return type if we look at the formal definition of the covariance from the php documentation we see that covariance allows a child's method to return a more specific type than the return of its parents method and that is exactly what's happening here we have a class method that returns a more specific type rather than a general type of its parent or in this case, it's contract or interface. So let's test this out. I'm going to open the index.php here and we're instantiating a cat shelter and dog shelter objects here. And we're adopting two animals and then we're calling the speak method on both of them. So let's see what happens when we run this code. As you can see, the first one is a cat and the second one is a dog because the adopt method from the cat shelter returns an object of cat and the adopt method from the dog shelter returns an object of dog. So to go over this one more time, what covariance allows us to do is that it lets us go from less specific type to a more specific type. In the interface, we are having a general type a general animal type as the return type for that method. When we're implementing this interface into a concrete class, whether it's cat shelter, dog shelter, or any other animal type shelter, the return type of that method can be a more specific type. It can be a better type, basically, instead of being a general type. This is allowed because dog is still a child of the animal class, and therefore this method signature is compatible with its parents signature and in this case it's contracts or interfaces signature all right so covariance makes sense let's see an example of contravariance now we're going to be sticking with the same example and this example is available in the php's documentation as well so you can check it out there and copy and 
play around with the code yourself if you need to. So we have a couple of modifications here to the animal and dog classes and we have two new classes food and animal food. The food class is just an empty class and then animal food extends the food class. So the food class is kind of like a base class. It's not an abstract class, it's just a base class that animal food extends from. Then within the animal class we have a method called eat which accepts animal food as its argument. Within the dog class which extends the animal class overrides the eat method and instead of accepting a more specific animal food type it is now changing that and it accepts a more general food type which is less specific. So it's going from more specific to less specific in the overridden method. It's kind of an inverse of covariance because in covariance we were going from less specific to more specific. If we look at the formal definition of the contravariance from the PHP documentation we see that contravariance allows a parameter type to be less specific in a child method than that of its parent. And that is exactly what's happening here. We have a class method that accepts an argument of a more specific type and have a child that overrides that method and accepts an argument of a more general or less specific type. Let's test this one out. So we'll switch back to the index.php and we have a couple of changes here as well. So in addition to the speak, which was the example of covariance, now we're creating an object of animal food and we're passing that to the eat method for cat and we're creating a general food object and passing that to the eat method on the dog. And this should work. So let's run and test it out to make sure that it works. We run the code and sure enough, it works. Now, if we were to run this exact code in PHP versions prior to PHP 7.4, this would fail. And I'm going to show you the error message that it would cause. I don't have PHP 7.3 installed on this machine, but I'm simply going to duplicate this code over to an online PHP shell and run it in PHP version 7.3 so that you can see the error message that it would throw if we were to run this code in that version. The thing that we need to change is that in PHP 7.3, we don't have the typed properties available so this would cause an error so I need to get rid of that and everything else should work. Let's select PHP 7.3. Let's run it. And sure enough, we're getting this warning. And let's read the warning message here. It states that declaration of the eat method on the dog class should be compatible with the declaration of the eat method on the animal class. We're also getting a fatal error that declaration of the adopt method on the cat shelter class should be compatible with the declaration of the adopt method on the animal shelter. And we're getting these errors because this was not supported in PHP prior to 7.4. The support for the contravariant parameter types and covariant return types were added in PHP 7.4. So if we run the same code in PHP 7.4, we see that it works without any problems. All right, so we've established that covariant return type means going from less specific to more specific, while contravariant parameter type means going from more specific to less specific. Now you might be asking, what about covariant parameter types? Can we go from less specific to more specific when it comes to parameter types? And let me show you what I mean here. So if you go back to the animal class here, we have a more specific parameter type and we're going less specific when we're overriding that method. Can we do the inverse of that? Because this is contravariance, right? We're going from more specific to less specific in parameter types. Can we do covariant parameter types in PHP? Would we be able to change this to food and change these to animal food? And the answer is no. Covariant parameter types are not supported in PHP. And as you can see, PHP Storm ID underlines this, stating that declaration must be compatible with the animal class. If we run the code, we're going to get that fatal error. And this kind of makes sense because having this type of support could introduce potential bugs or confusion in the code. Also, contravariant return types are not supported as well. So if we go back to the covariant example where we have the animal shelter, cat shelter, and dog shelter here that implement the adopt method and change the type to a more specific type, we cannot have a contravariant return types in this case. We cannot go from a more specific to less specific specific in return types. So if we were to swap them out and instead of having animal here we had something like more specific 
cat, we could not go from more specific to less specific in a child class. So we could not go from cat to animal. And as you can see, it also underlines here. And if we were to run the code, we would get the similar error that we got in here. So to sum it all up, basically going from less specific to more specific is covariance and vice versa going from more specific to less specific is contravariance. In PHP, covariant return types and contravariant parameter types are supported. Now there are a couple of things that I want to mention before we move on to one of the solid principles. Class constructors don't follow the same rules. You can override the class constructor and have completely different types. For example, in the animal food here, if we had some kind of constructor here that maybe accepted class A in animal food, when we override the constructor, we could accept completely different parameters here and this would work. As you can see, this does not follow the contravariant parameter type rules. This works in PHP. You would just have to make sure that if you're calling parent construct, you're passing the proper argument in here. So you would need to do something like new A or accept the A object in the constructor of the child class as well. Another thing to know is about the new things that were introduced in PHP 8.0 and 8.1, and those are union and intersection types. If you're using union types in base class, when you remove a type while overriding that method in a child class, it means it's covariant because it is going from less specific to more specific. Same applies to intersections, but instead of removing a type, it applies when a type is added because it is going from less specific to more specific when additional types are added in overridden method returns since you're narrowing down the type. Contravariance would be the opposite where it goes from more specific to less specific. So adding an union type in overridden method parameter would be one example. Removing intersection type from an overridden methods parameter would be another. One last thing I want to talk about before we wrap up this video is Liskov substitution principle, which is one of the solid principles. The letter L to be more specific and no pun intended here. Liskov substitution principle states that an object and a sub object, so a class and a subclass must must be interchangeable without breaking the code. When LSP is applied properly, it gives us protection against using inheritance the wrong way. Because if we extend the class and then start changing things around in the child class, like override methods and so on, and change the types here and there and add more methods and kind of like diverge from the actual inheritance, which would end up breaking the Liskov's principle, then we are using the inheritance in a wrong way. And probably it would be better to use a different strategy like composition instead of inheritance. Let's look at the contravariant example one more time. So we're going to switch to the animal class here and the dog class. So I'm going to open the dog in this section here so that it's easier to see. So again, we have a contravariant parameter type here. We're going from more specific to less specific. Now the question is, is this type safe? And the answer, which we've already tested, is yes, because it works. The parameter type is contravariant and therefore it's safe. Now where does LSP play a role here? If we open the index.php here where we are using the food objects and if we look at this section where we are creating a new food object and we pass it to the eat method on the dog object, we are able to swap this out and substitute it with any other instance of food class, which means that we could simply take this out and pass cat food and this would still work. If we run the code, everything works as expected. On the other hand, if PHP supported covariant parameter types where we went from less specific to more specific in which case we would have this animal food and we would have on the animal class as the food we're going from less specific to more specific which is covariant parameter types and as I mentioned before this is not supported in PHP and it throws an error but if it were supported in PHP this would kind of break the LSP because we're no longer able to substitute the food object right now we're passing the animal food which in this case would pass and work correctly but if we were to substitute this and pass any other food object that extends the food class or pass the food itself this would no longer work because the expected type has been narrowed down from the general food type to a specific animal food and this would break and therefore because this breaks it breaks the Liskov substitution principle 
Now in the case of contravariant parameter types, if we change this back to animal food and change this to food, our parent class or the base class states that we need to accept an animal food class, but our child class overrides that and says that we need something less specific or more general food object. This does not break the LSP because we are kind of extending the functionality, we are widening the type support here, we are not narrowing it down we're not being more restrictive or more specific in the parameter types that's why lsp is not broken when we're having contravariant parameter types now there are of course more things to know about lsp and i'm not going to cover the lsp in more depth in this video i just wanted to briefly cover it in this lesson because it kind of relates to covariance and contravariance and type safety in general i might make a separate series about solid principles and go over each solid principle separately in a separate video in more depth and if you would like that please drop a comment below and I might make time to make separate series on those topics so I know this is a lot of information and don't worry if it doesn't click or make sense on the first try watch it again and don't hesitate to ask me any questions below I'll be happy to answer them thanks a lot for watching and for all the support hope you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you you did and subscribe if you haven't already done so make sure to hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos thanks again and i'll see you next time